Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about storage in Ionic 2. Storage in Ionic 2 can be used to store the data in key value formats. We can also store JSON objects. This storage can work using many storage engines. Here it will choose the best based on the platform. If the application runs in a native platform, it will use SQLite, whereas if it is in browser, it will use the IndexedDB or WebSQL. First, you need to install Cordova SQLite storage plugin. You can use the command Cordova plugin add SQLite storage. You have to run under the root of your project. Once this has been done, go to your app.module.typescript file. You can find it under source folder and you have to import the storage inside your app.module.typescript file and then you have to write a function as provider storage here it is the db name kept it as my test db and the db are index db web sql and sqlite and under ng module inside the providers please add storage and save it once this has been saved you can go to your page and import the storage file inside your page including inside constructor as storage and you can use set and get methods to set the value and to retrieve the value parameters for set method is key comma value where my well is the key and this is the value and I am going to retrieve the value using get method followed by key and in the promise function we can use the promise to retrieve the value I am just printing using console log I am going to save this file the program is building and you can see the value store you can go to application can use indexed db inside index db here is the key value pair which is stored since i use browser and environment it uses index db